friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. It's time to get our holiday baking going. So I'm gonna start off this by making us a delicious pumpkin walnut bread. How delicious does that sound? Something to serve maybe for Thanksgiving dinner or maybe just a snack in the evening with some coffee, some cafecito, how delicious. Guys, the recipe is easy. I'm going to take you step by step and show you my version of this cake. All right, guys, if you enjoy the content, consider giving the video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you can think of another recipe you would like me to try here on the channel, leave it down in the comments. I will try to get it out for you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. All right, here we go, guys. I am gonna be making two eight by five pan loaves. And the reason I make two is I don't like my bun cakes too high. I like them lower. And I have two reasons for this. The first reason is that it bakes a lot faster and it doesn't dry out the cake because of the longer baking time if you add the whole thing in one. So that's the reason I'm gonna make two. All right, so here we go. I do add some spray and parchment paper just to make it easy to get it out after the bake. I'm gonna start off by mixing my flour with my spices. This is pretty easy. I do get all my ingredients prepared just so that I don't forget anything. I do have my salt. I have some baking powder. I will leave the recipe link down in the description box, guys. So don't, you know, don't worry about trying to keep up. I have my cinnamon. And then I have a little bit of ginger and a little bit of ground cloves. The aroma of these spices is just so delicious. So fall, so holiday, everything in one. I'm just going to mix all these things together so that we don't have any trouble or lumps when we mix it into the wet batter. And everything is just equally distributed. Okay, that should be good right there. Now everything is at room temperature. I have some eggs. Here I have my butter and we're going to start by creaming our butter and our sugars together and then we're going to add our eggs. All right, here we go with the butter. Two sticks of butter at room temperature. As you can see, this is very soft. Very important for this recipe. To the butter, we are going to add our sugar, our white sugar and our brown sugar. Okay, and then we're going to beat this for about three minutes. We want this real nice and creamy. Once the butter changes colors, it gets a lighter color, then we will add the eggs one at a time. At this point, as you can see, it's very light. We're gonna add in a little bit of oil. And I didn't add the oil first because then the butter doesn't cream. So I leave the oil until after the butter is creamed. We're gonna add in our oil and one egg, and we're gonna beat it again. And hopefully just one goes in there. There we go. And make sure that every egg is well incorporated before you add the next. All right, at this point, we're gonna stop, and we're going to, let me turn this around. We're gonna scrape everything from the bottom and make sure there's nothing stuck at the bottom. And then we're gonna cream this for about two minutes on high speed. We're gonna want this real nice and fluffy. Okay, here we go. Okay, there it is. See how nice and fluffy that is? It changes colors and that's what we need to get a real fluffy cake. All right, now we are going to start adding our pumpkin and flour mixture, and we are gonna add in about two spoons of our pumpkin and mix that in and start adding our flour a spoon at a time. Now that we have all that uh, mixed in, we're going to give the bowl a final scrape. You don't want to overbeat it at this point. We just want to get it combined. Okay. And after this, we are going to add in our, our walnuts. Okay. The final step is we're going to add in our walnuts and we're going to try not to over mix it. So I'm just going to throw them in all at once. And 
and that should be good right there. Okay, let's get our pans ready. Okay, so here I have my mix. I'm gonna try to divide this evenly in between the two pans. And I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I wish you could smell this. Mm, the spices, oh, it just smells delicious. Can't wait. Okay, then I'm just gonna try to level it out as best I can. Okay, so here they are. I'm ready to go to the oven with these and I'm gonna probably bake them for about 40 minutes before I decide to test them. I don't wanna over dry these. So I will be back to show you the finished product. Look at that. Mm -mm, I wish we had smell-o-vision. Smells like Thanksgiving already. While we're waiting for the cakes to be done, we are gonna make a glaze. Now you don't have to add this glaze, the look of it and of course the taste of the maple syrup that I'm gonna to add to the powdered sugar. Here I have some powdered sugar, some maple syrup, and a little bit of half and half because I don't wanna to put too much maple. I don't wanna overpower the taste of the pumpkin. So I'm just gonna add maybe a teaspoon to start and then I'm gonna add a little bit of half and half or milk, whatever you prefer. And we're gonna mix it. I might have to add some more. Okay, and that's it. Oops, I don't want it too runny. So I think that's a good consistency right there. You see that? Mmm, this smells delicious too. I'm gonna give it a taste. I don't want it too, like I said, I don't want the maple syrup too strong. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up till we're ready for it so that it doesn't crust up on us. The cakes are almost ready. I wish you could smell this kitchen. Oh, it's delightful. All right, guys, a few more minutes. All right, I'm gonna test one of these cakes. Of course, they're very hot. And we're gonna test them with the toothpick. You know you go to the deepest side of the cake, which is here on top, and if it comes out dry and clean like that, if there's a little bit of crumb on it, that's okay, it's good. So I'm gonna take them both out before they dry out. They will continue to bake in the pan for about 10 minutes from the residual heat, so don't over bake them. Give this one a check. A new toothpick. Mmm, these smell so good. Okay, look at that. Very nice and clean. Perfect. Bring this up to you. Look at that. Delicious. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to let them cool for just a little bit in the pans, and then I'm going to flip them over on the rack, and we're going to add the glaze. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ice these cakes already and still let them sit to cool. Mainly, I'm gonna drop the glaze on the top because they're still hot and it will slide off to the sides all on its own. And then, of course, if you wanna add some more, you can. And if that isn't enough, we're gonna sprinkle some crushed nuts on top as well just to give it a nice look before this icing hardens up and it's already hardening up so i'm glad i did this now okay that's it guys let's go ahead and cut this cake look how delicious yummy all right i'm gonna go ahead and cut the first slice they're a little bit warmer than i like to cut them but we have to get in here so you can see the inside. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let me put it on a plate. Look at that, guys, how delicious. Look at how moist it is. Look at that, it's not dry at all. The cake is so moist. I mean, look at that. You can see how 
moist and soft it is. Delicious. It's the oil that really helps keep this cake moist. Besides everything else that goes in it, of course, but this is delicious. You're really gonna enjoy this. Yummy. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, they're all done, and I cannot wait to take a bite out of this. It is smells so good in my house right now, you wouldn't even believe. All right, here we go. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. This is so good. This is really perfect for a Thanksgiving dessert. Just slice it up, have it on the table for everybody to grab while watching the gamers. It's delicious. And if you really want to make it extra special, whip up some whipping cream to go on top of this. Sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Chef's kiss, delicious. Or even warm up some heavy cream and pour it on the side. That would be delicious as well. I do hope you give the recipe a try. It is fantastic. I will have the recipe and everything that I used down in the description box below. So take a look there. I also leave other little information tidbits that you may want to look into. And that's going to conclude the video for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget, big thumbs up and share with family and friends. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around with me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Let's get some more of this cake. It's